Welcome to this week's On The Hook video. This week you're with me and Sean from Snagbro and we're going to show you the best perch laws of 2023. So first on our list for best perch laws of 2023 is the Berkeley Sick Vibes. Huge perch catcher, and I think personally, the tail action on these are some of the best tail action for soft plastics going. So, let's get one rigged up, let's see how it works. So I've got a nice light rod to throw the little five gram jig head on with the little Sick Vibe on. Um, it's a 2 to 15 gram rod, so it's a perfect little rod to throw this out on. What's really good about throwing the shads out like this is you can get it on the bottom, there's no treble hooks to snag on anything, and you can be really slow and patient with this lure, and this tail action will attract whatever's hungry in the area. One of my favourite ways to cast and retrieve a shad is a nice slow retrieve with a pause every five or six seconds. Nice and slow retrieve. I can feel the action of the lure working. Nice little pause, let it sink, and then carry on. Sometimes that pause can be all what's needed to get it to entice that bite. And that lure's really working in the water, that tail's going. Another technique to cast and retrieve this lure is a really fast technique. Now recently, me and Tom were fishing in Holland with a guy called Simon Torenbeek. And he's one of the guys that designs these baits. Now he, in Holland, how they fish for perch is really fast and erratic. Not like how we would do in the UK, nice slow on the bottom, nice and steady. In Holland, they want it quick, they want it fast, they want it erratic. We were on a boat in Holland, literally, probably the fastest way we've ever caught a perch. And Simon caught an absolute monster on this exact method. Really go wild with the techniques here. Yeah. Oh, that's a better fish. This is a little bit heavier. Oh, it looks like a little pike there. Or is it a huge perch? Could be. Oh, that's. Oh, pike. that's a huge perch. Get the net. Perch. Get the net. Get the huge perch. <laughs> the chaos here. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Oh! 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 <laughs> No, that is too big, Simon. Oh That's my too God. big. Oh no. My God. No. What is that? Mate. That's, That's the biggest patch I've ever seen. I thought it was a pike. I've seen it. Oh, oh my oh. God. <laughs> Did Simon just say it's a little bit too large? Yes, he said that. Yeah, yeah I thought so. And look how he oh, smashed that lure. It's all the way oh. in there. And he really, really smashed it. Like, oh, it's huge. Mate. Oh, that's it? It doesn't even look. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let's see how long this one is. That's uh, Simon. 50, that's 50, come on. Yeah, we, I would say it's a 50. It's 50. <laughs> 50 centimeters. That's what we call a Dutch beauty. Oh my and I feel God. a little bit sad that I, well, I'm not sad that I caught it, but now after this one, we know they are here. And uh, we need to get the, the snack I could snack put my rose. fist in its mouth. <laughs> we need to get the snack rose on one of these. Yes, we do. <laughs> so these are the kind of fish that we've been seeing on Instagram all the time. They are here, they are here. And now it's to, become uh, a reality. You just have to fish hard for them. Oh, the red is so nice. And you see how wide they are. It's like a little balloon, you see? Well, time to go. Time to go. There he goes. And it also comes in different colours and sizes. Here's one that could be for pike, maybe even Xander. Probably catch a giant perch on that one, to be fair. And the smaller ones, great for the perch. That tail action just really gets them going. I love it. Now, moving on to a different lure. This one is super easy to use, and it is the Berkeley Spin Tail XL. Why is it called the XL? I think because of these extra large spinners that is on the back of it. It's a hard bait, 
and it's super easy to use. Let's get it on the rod and show you the best ways how to use this law. As you can see, where you hook the law on is on the top of the law, which means it kind of comes through the water at like that angle. So the blades are up in the air, really enticing fish in. And this is a super simple law to use. You basically cast it out, let it sink, retrieve, pause, retrieve. There's no need to flick the rod tip, really. You can control it all by the reel. You can give it a flick now and then if you want to. This is a great bait for searching the water out get a little cast on a clock face system going and before you know it, you should come into a fish. Sean caught an absolute monster whilst he was in Holland. He's PB fish, didn't you, Sean? Yep. Fish on. Nice. Ooh. Uh, is it your fail hook bream? I'm gonna cry. I think you're gonna cry. No, it's a monster perch. <laughs> 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 oh, you've went and got your PB yes. perch. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> you've went and done it, my oh, friend. Yes. I've done it. Spin tail XL. Works. It's not too big for perch fishing. Perch like these, it's a snack for that. Absolute snack. <laughs> so what weight would you give that, Simon? Uh, it's quite similar as yours, isn't it? Yeah. Five and a half pounds. Yeah. <laughs> like a dream. They come in different colours for different situations. On this one here, the orange and the orange on the bottom is actually UV. So when it's submerged in the water, the fish have even more of a chance of seeing it. I wouldn't go anywhere without one of these in my tackle box. If the fish aren't biting, put this XL spinners on it and it might just entice them. So another law that is permanently fixtured in our tackle box is the Dex Stunner. And it's a Japanese inspired design, a nice long slick kind of stick of a bait. It's a hard plastic. We have a bill on the front so we get some diving action and it's super erratic in the water guys. That action is really kind of side to side, back and forth. It's got that ball bearing in the middle, which helps for noise in the water. It also helps for a further cast. Let's get it on the rod. Let's get it out. Let's see how to use it. So my favorite way to retrieve the deck stunner is a simple twitch, twitch, retrieve. Twitch, twitch, pause. Twitch, twitch, pause. And that's creating a real disturbance in the water. Bang, 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 pause. Bang, 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 pause. And if there are any fish in the vicinity, hopefully, they will be thinking, what the hell is that crazy bait over there? So Simon over in Holland, who designs these baits, has had such success on the Dex baits. I'm kind of jealous. He's caught perch on them, huge perch. He's caught Xander on them. He's even caught pike on them. And he's even caught a catfish on them. To say that it's a versatile bait is an understatement. It truly catches all the predator fish, guys. And it comes in loads of different colors. Here's one in a in luminescent fire tiger. Here's like a purpley, dull looking one for the clear water. And if you'll notice, on the front here, we do have two different size bills. One that dives deeper than the other. The longer bill will dive deeper. Definitely a law I would not leave out my law box. If you're trying to target the perch, have a look at some features around the water. Have a look at weed beds. Have a look at drop-offs. Have a look at structures. That's where you'll find the perch. And if you find one perch, chances are you will find more as they shoal together. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope this gave you some insight on what you could have in your perch tackle box. If you think we've missed anything, and you, or you're thinking, what the hell, why haven't they got that in the perch box? Tell us, guys, get in the comments below, what have you got in your perch box? Thanks, guys, peace out.